Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. To the Sports Card Talk Show. Sports Card Talk Show with Kevin Anderson and Lauren Walker, the Skull Brothers. Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. Uh, we're going to do um, a response video today for uh, Anthony Matthew Presents. Um, it's a 3,500 view giveaway. Um, I'll show you the information real quick. Yeah, it's uh, this is a fun one. Um, basically wants to see autos that you either got in person or he said through the mail would be okay too, but it was mostly in person. Nothing that you pulled out of a box basically. Yeah. Um, any sport basically. Um, I actually, uh, was checking out a video, um, from DeBuff man and, uh, he was doing this. So I popped over and there's so many great channels. It's hard to keep up with everybody. And, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm like, oh, we'll do this, 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 uh, this one. This will be fun. Yeah, yeah. And I see you got a couple. I brought one. I could have brought a couple more, but we don't need to do a ton of them. No, and uh, I, uh, yeah, obviously, I, I would have to go digging through some memory boxes to find a few too. But that's uh, where I was. I'm like, yeah. I this was handy. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So if you want to do one, then I'll do one. And yep, I'll yep. So now the f this first one, I'll show this one because I didn't get this one in person, but okay. The year was 1988, and we oh, had just man. started collecting cards. And uh, Mark McGuire set the record for most uh, most home runs by a rookie in 1987. So this is 1987 um, um, record breakers. He had yeah. 49 home runs in '87. We just started collecting cards in '87 because the Twins won the World Series that year. And my brother wanted to send off a card to Mark McGuire. My brother did this, not me. <laughs> and uh yeah we got it back don't know if he was he had a ghost ghost signer or whatever they call him signing it but um uh, then you know back. sometime in the 90s they came up with uh these screw downs and this thing's been in a screw down, <laughs> <in a> screw <laughs> down ever since i remember those yeah yeah i mean yeah. those things i mean that's a pound of, of uh that i don't know really, uh plexiglass or really whatever nice. they're doing Let's see here. I wasn't going to do this, but maybe we'll try and do it on the fly here. Oh, you mean just shine and just show it, uh, show yeah. it on camera like that? Yeah, we can try though. I mean, it doesn't really. It's just not going to be the best background here, but it'll work. You know. Let's see here. Oop. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I remember these screw downs when they came. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we sent the record breaker because it seemed like you were breaking one of the one of these out of every ten packs or so back in sure. the sure. The next one, uh, my wife and I went to uh, um, Ultimate Fighting. It wasn't an actual Ultimate Fighting. It was one of those little house shows at a casino. But um, Matt Hughes was there, um, and this is when he was the champion. And uh, so she got it personally inscribed to Jen Matthews, UFC world champ. And uh, the time is now. I wish I could have fought, found the shirt that I got because it's the same auto except for it's to Kevin. But the shirt is um, uh, welcome to the flight club. And it's him. He's a wrestler. So he has him up in the air, a guy up in the air. You know, it was a pretty cool shirt. Nice. And I also bought... Um, Rich Ace Franklin. Anybody that watches UFC probably knows all these names, but uh, he was a math teacher, become fighter. And uh, so his shirt was uh, this one time at fight camp. <laughs> you remember American Pie? Oh, yeah. Biggest yeah. I know if, I know American Pie better than I know <laughs> yeah, <laughs> UFC, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. so his, his shirt said this one time at fight camp. That was the shirt. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was my, my uh, one that I showed and then the two that I wish I could have found, but. My, my other autograph was a complete surprise. Uh, I went to the International Science Fair in Pittsburgh in 1989. Um, and uh, we were in the hotel we were staying at, the Dodgers were staying because they were in town. And this was right after Kirk Gibson's heroic fist mm -hmm. pump that has won at bat in the World Series home run. And actually seen Kirk Gibson in in the lobby, and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's Kirk Gibson. Did, had no idea that the Dodgers were even staying at the hotel at the time. Right. 
I walk up to him and he literally is like, no, no, I didn't even get to say anything to him. He just told me no. <laughs> so now we know the Dodgers are in our, staying in our hotel. The whole series got rained out. It rained practically the whole time we were in Pittsburgh. But one time in the elevator, um, hop in the, the uh, Don Drysdale hops into the elevator <laughs> with me. And I didn't have anything for him to sign. Wasn't planning on running into anybody that was uh, <laughs> famous on, on my little science fair uh, trip. But uh, he signed this. It looks like the, a map on the back of it of, of Pittsburgh. But uh, got Don Drysdale to sign a piece of paper in the elevator <laughs> of of uh, a hotel in, in Pittsburgh in 1989. Oh, so, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. So and there's been times where I haven't known where this piece of paper was. But <laughs> I knew exactly where it was whenever you brought up the, us uh, doing this uh, response video. So. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, that's our uh, response video. We'll uh, upload it and link it for you. And, and uh, yeah, thanks for uh, the opportunity. Yeah. And congratulations. School Brothers out.